Hello guys, it's me Teacher Hanji and welcome to my channel. So for this tutorial, we will find the zeros of quadratic functions. The graph of quadratic function is parabola. A parabola can cross the x-axis once, twice, or never. The x-coordinates of these points of intersection are called x-intercept. Let us consider the graph of quadratic function y is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. It shows that the curve crosses the x-axis at 3 and negative 2. These are the x-intercepts of the function. Similarly, 3 and negative 2 are the zeros of the function since these are the values of x when y is equal to 0. The zeros of the function can be determined by setting y to 0 and solving the resulting equation through different algebraic methods. So let us have the first method. Let us find the zeros of quadratic function y is equal to 2x squared minus 50 by extracting square roots. So for the solution, we will set y is equal to 0. Therefore, our equation will be 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 15. Using symmetric property, this one is the same with 2x squared minus 50 is equal to 0. Now, we will use addition property of equality to isolate 2x squared here. So, we have 2x squared is equal to 50. So, this time, we will divide both sides by positive 2 to make x squared alone to the left side. So, 2x squared divided by 2 and 50 divided by 2 will be equal to x squared is equal to 25. So, this time, we will use square root property in which we will extract the roots for x squared and 25. So, we have square root of x squared is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to x is equal to positive negative 5. Therefore, the zeros of y is equal to 2x squared minus 50 or positive negative 5. Let us move on with our second method. Let us find the zeros of quadratic function y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2 by factoring. So for the solution, let us set y be equal to 0. Therefore, our equation will be 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Since our method is factoring, we will factor the right side. So the factor of this side will be equal to quantity x minus 2 times quantity x minus 1. Since negative 2 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 3. And negative 2 times negative 1 is equal to positive 2. So using zero product property, we have x minus 2 should be equal to 0. And x minus 1 is also equal to 0. Then x is equal to positive 2 and x is also equal to positive 1 using addition property of equality. Therefore, the zeros of y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2 are positive 2 and positive 1. So this time we will move on with the third method. Let us find the zeros of quadratic function y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2 by completing the square method. So for the solution, again, we will set y be equal to 0. Therefore, our equation will be 0 is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2. Using symmetric property, we have x squared plus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. So you see the two equations are the same. So as for the rule of completing the square, we will leave the variables to the left side and the constant should be moved at the right side. So we have plus 4x is equal to 2. So using addition property of equality, we just add positive 2 to the both sides. So this will be the resulting equation. So to make this perfect square binomial, 
we need to get the half of positive 4 and square the answer. So 4 divided by 2 will be equal to 2 times 2 is still equal to 4. So that number will be added to the both equation. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 4. So this time, add 2 plus 4 and make the left side a perfect square binomial. So we have a square of x plus 2 is equal to positive 6. Now, apply the square root property by extracting the roots to the both sides. So we have x plus 2 is equal to positive negative square root of 6. Since now, transpose positive 2 to the right side. So we have x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 6. Therefore, the zeros of y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2 are negative 2 plus minus square root of 6. So let us have our fourth method. Let us find the zeros of the quadratic function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 using the quadratic formula. So for our solution, again, we will set f of x to be equal to 0. Therefore, our equation will be 0 is equal to 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. So since we are about to use quadratic formula to find the zeros of this equation, then we will use this formula. x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over a. So since we are asking for the values of a, b, and c, then from this equation, a is equal to positive 2, b is equal to positive 9, and c is equal to positive 10. Substitute it to our formula, so we have x is equal to negative 9 plus minus square root of 9 squared minus 4 times 2 times 10 over 2 times 2. Simplifying the number, we have x is equal to negative 9 plus minus square root of 81 minus 80 over 4. And 81 minus 80 is equal to positive 1. Therefore, we have x is equal to negative 9 plus minus 1 over 4. After getting this one, we will now about to get the values of x. So let us start with x is equal to negative 9 plus 1 over 4 followed by x is equal to negative 9 minus 1 over 4. So negative 9 plus 1 is equal to negative 8. Divided by 4 is equal to negative 2. So that is the first value of x. So let's go with the second value. Negative 9 minus 1 is equal to negative 10. Divided by 4 is equal to negative 2.5. And this is value of x. Therefore, the zeros of f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 are negative 2 and negative 2.5. In general, to find the zeros of quadratic function, you can use extract square root method, factoring method, in the square method, and quadratic so as you notice, this one is the same with finding the values of x in quadratic equation. So that's it for our video. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!